White Hair Research started out as uh, one aircraft company uh, flying out of a dirt strip. And we always felt that uh, we could apply uh, infrared to wildlife research. And uh, by far, we have now the most capable equipment, and that is the uh, MX-10 camera. The majority of what our customers are looking for is like population distribution, census, and classification. This system really surprised me with the clarity of the image and how far away I can pick up that image. HD, the infrared, and then the electro-optical EO camera, being able to toggle between those two, the daylight, low light, as well as the infrared, gives us an advantage to work in all sorts of conditions, whether or not it's smoky or daytime or nighttime, we can really maximize the full spectrum. In addition, the multiple zoom capabilities of these cameras not only lets us use thermal imaging to acquire signatures, but then use the zoom in order to identify species, sexes, animals. You can see birds that are, you know, ravens, crows, robins from over a mile away, and that is incredibly, incredibly powerful. So it allows us to be successful at what we do in the wildlife arena. And also for fire hotspot detection, we can literally see the difference of a half a degree from a mile away. And finally, I think the big thing that the MX-10 has is its laser rangefinder. Sometimes customers want to know exactly where on the planet something is, and the system can knock that down to within one meter on the ground, so that's a pretty impressive feature. And that is really powerful for boots on the ground fighting fires. It's incredibly powerful when you're trying to do distance estimates for wildlife. So those three things together really, really promote us being able to deliver the best products to our clients. We originally got into this business just because of our love of wildlife. It, it's more of a, a love of the work and the, and the services we can provide, just a, a love of what we do. And kind of like the Kevin Costner movie, it was build it and they will come. And that's what we did.